Hey what's up everyone, in my last video many people asked for review of Legend Roam. So Legend Roam is based on Android 7.1 and Cyanogen Mode 14.1. The Roam is pre-rooted and it has very limited features and customization. It has Viper for Android for better audio tweaks and all the features you can find in one tab called Legend Settings. So the features are 3 finger screenshot and it got pixel style navigation buttons, long press power button to activate torch, privacy guard, lock screen settings, pre-enabled developer settings, double tap status bar to lock the screen and status bar customization. Although it's in the bottom and not in the legend setting and that's weird. Network traffic indicators. So that's all the features in the room. It's using Cyanogen mode camera, nothing special in it. Now let's talk about stability and performance. No random reboots, room doesn't lag and even the scrolling is smooth. It's using two kernel most of the time so two kernels are offline. Even though CPU frequency is not underclock and it is set to maximum frequency. And that's the reason for good battery life, I mean compared to Resurrection Remix. I got around 4 hours of screen on time, but it's not as good as Marshmallow Roams. Like Sultan used to give me 7 hours of screen on time. Because of some weird reasons, all the Nougat Roams are slow in charging. Like back in Marshmallow Roams, when I was using AICP Roam, the charging was so fast. So this is kind of annoying. I would give 3 out of 5 to this ROM and I will give the link in the description box below if you want to flash it. And if you are looking for some good marshmallow ROMs, just check out my marshmallow playlist. And that's it for today and if you survived this video so far, this is Nash and I am glad you are here. In the meanwhile, keep flashing my friends.